name is Danny Joe Thatcher. I am from Elmo, Utah. I've lived in Elmo since I was in second grade. It's in Emory County. I love the people in Emory County. They're, they're very kind, very giving. There's multiple instances I can tell you of where they have your back no matter what. If there's somebody in need, they help. Emory County has struggled a lot with opioid addiction. We rank, I believe, number six in the nation. I have my uncle Cade, and he, when he was in high school, he got a knee injury, and so he got addicted to opioids. And then later, it led to alcoholism. And so in 2016, that summer, he overdosed on alcohol and opioids, and he passed away. And he left a wife and four kids, and I didn't want any other families to go through that because it was really hard for him. The coalition we created within our county is Unity in the Community. Our big purpose is to make a difference in people's lives who are addicted to opioids. I work for Utah State University Extension. We want to bring Emory County together and work together to help combat this problem. We started our coalition in February of 2018 and that consisted of health department members, the sheriff, recovering addicts. I was addicted to heroin um, for about 12 years. I was in and out of jail, um, treatment centers. I feel it's important to share uh, our stories with the youth or, or anybody. For me, it keeps me sober. Sharing it, I, I walk it, I relive it and it keeps me still there to remember where I came from to what I am now. It's also important to be able to hopefully save that one life, if we can. Adults and youth both benefit each other because we both have separate opinions. Youth are like, hey, we need to do this, but adults see the other side and they're like, no, we need to do this. But if we combine them, we can help all people of all ages and it's a great system. So the Youth Adult Partnership is really youth-led. We're the ones setting up the tables and chairs. We're the ones doing the work where it's the youth out there actually getting out in the community and doing it. We had, for example, 4-H Day Camp where we had so many youth throughout the county. And then we've organized several nights with like the local pharmacists or the state DEA and they educate the people about what is going on within the community. We had one of the local pharmacists come and talk to us and he told us how dangerous it is to have drugs within our cabinet so we are not using. He told us about a drop box that we have over at um, the clinic down the road and you can just take your old drugs there and then it gets rid of them and then no one else can have them which benefits everyone. So we can have a different topic every time. Danny is kind of that light that comes on. I mean I was actually quite shocked when she took this upon herself. She called me up and asked me to come and, and participate, which I, I loved. It was great to see someone that actually cared and willing to help out in our little rural area here. I've been able to explain to them it's a community issue. It's not my issue, it's not your issue, it's everybody's issue. I think that you can never go wrong with education, so doing what you guys are doing is huge. In this club, you make a difference. You make a difference within the community and you know you're doing something important, which makes it worth it. <laughs>